If you were an avid TV watcher during the late 70s and early 80s, then I'm quite certain that you are familiar with this talented lady. From 1978 to 1982, Jan Smithers was Bailey Quarters, the beautiful but somewhat reserved assistant to program director Andy Travis on the classic sitcom WKRP in Cincinnati. During the late 60s and early 70s, Jan was a highly sought after model who could be found all over print media and television. She got her start in the most awesome of ways. Believe it or not, she was playing hooky from school for the very first time, or so she says, just hanging out with a friend on a California beach when she was approached by two men in suits who claimed to be from Newsweek magazine. And before you know it, there she was on the cover of the magazine. After publication, Jan's parents' phone was ringing off the hook with agents who wanted to represent her. But modeling was just the beginning for Jan. In 1974, she starred in the film Where the Lilies Bloom, based on the well-known book which told the story of a poor sharecropping family in North Carolina. Jan got some really good reviews for her work as the family's eldest daughter. After that, Jan was able to find employment opportunities on both TV as well as in motion pictures. But like I said at the beginning, it was her role as shy but sexy Bailey Quarters that really caught the viewing public's attention. Sure, front and center there was platinum blonde Lonnie Anderson, but for many fans of the show, it was Jan's portrayal of Bailey Quarters that really felt like the real deal. After WKRP ran its course, Jan found steady work on shows like The Fall Guy, Mike Hammer, and Murder, She Wrote. But it was a 1986 appearance on the TV series Hotel that would change her life forever. You see, she fell in love with leading man James Brolin, and before you knew it, they were officially man and wife. Jan's last role was in a 1987 movie called Mr. Nice Guy. If you have the desire, you can watch this film right here on YouTube. I'll post a link to it in the description section of this video. Although Jan's marriage didn't last, she and James did have a daughter together, and Jan has gone on record many times saying how much motherhood felt like a calling to her. There really wasn't much more that she wanted to do than be her daughter's mother. And because of that, acting held no appeal. She was 100% invested in raising her little girl. So, let's fast forward to present day. More than three decades since Jan's last appearance on a TV show or in the movies, away from the limelight, one does have to wonder, does this wonderful lady still have that same smile, that same twinkle in her eyes that captivated fans so long ago? Well, I'm going to let you be the judge, but I think the answer is a resounding yes. Sure, Jan has gained a few wrinkles over the years, but I actually think it's refreshing that she's allowed herself to gracefully age naturally. Truthfully, there aren't that many current pictures of Jan out there. This one was actually taken a few years back when Jan reunited with her fellow cast members from WKRP. Personally, I love to see photos like this one. You always hope that the friendships that you see on screen are legitimate reflections of true friendships that exist off screen. One last picture. Let's go way back to Jan's modeling days for this one. And now it's your turn. Please share your memories of Jan in the comments section. And while you're at it, I would appreciate a thumbs up. And what the heck, why not subscribe to the channel? I talk about music, movies, and mostly television from the 50s, 60s, 70s, and 80s. You know, the good stuff. But most importantly, and as always, Thank you so much for watching.